Hot beat. Hot beat. Oh, you got a beautiful heart beat. Beautiful heart beat. Beautiful heart beat. You got a beautiful, you got a beautiful heart beat. Look. See, she was about five, seven brown skin, straight ten. The baddest in the city and the finest of her friends. Baby girl is fine, I ain't talking emotion. I let her ride the ride, baby girl, will coast in. It's over, gotta let the side chase go. She rides my highs every time I feel low. She boosts me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bianca here with another video. Once again, I'm kind of whispering because I know everybody is asleep. Mind you, I do not have any roommates, but the walls are like this, so like I know people can hear me. Anyways, I just woke up. Don't mind that once again, I'm always coming in here looking like a crackhead. And once again, I don't have any clothes on. And also, don't mind the mess that's in the back. And now that we got all of that out the way. Yeah, so I just woke up. It's raining and like crazy. Anyhow, I wanted to do a weekly vlog for you guys or a quarantine vlog just to check in with everybody and to just see what everybody else is doing. Also, just to give somebody motivation if they need it or me is to just say relax because we're all in this together, all of us are going through something in this situation. It's definitely different for everyone and I kind of just wanted to come in and just be a light to all of my peers or anybody that's watching this video. I don't get my day started. I actually might sit here depending on what I have schedule for the day until I feel like getting up but if I know I have stuff to do for the day kind of like to get up and schedule it out do a series of things but today's Sunday and I kind of just want to just chillax a little bit the first thing I do is I pray which I already prayed this morning and then the second thing I do is get on my phone my check child phone, my phone and my then I have phone. a book that I always keep near my bed this girl won't stop so once I have everything written and this girl won't stop that's when I really get my day started it's crazy. I'm probably gonna sit here, I'm not even gonna lie, and watch a TV show until I feel like getting up. Because once again, it's Sunday and I'm just chilling, so, so I'm really not ready to talk to nobody yet. I'm actually still kind of asleep. That's why I'm, I want to lay down. So if I know this person's gonna want to lag on a conversation and it's not about anything that's business related, I don't care to talk to them right now. My friend put like a whole little story together on Instagram. Anyhow, that's done. I'm about to go finish watching my show, so I'll get back to you. LOL. So guys, I <laughs> I woke up really early this morning and then as you guys saw, I said I was going to do all this stuff and then I ended up laying back down and I fell asleep. It's now 4 o'clock. That's okay, the day is not wasted. I still do have to finish all the things that I wrote in my chores list. I really do hate starting my day so late, but like I said, today is Sunday and it is a relaxing day for me. Usually I would have bubble study, but today I think they're doing something, so I don't think we have it. Anyway, I'll check for that in a little bit. So today I just have to clean up. I have to give myself a wax because, you know, I know everybody's been complaining about how hair and are gonna be, but honestly, I really don't have any excuse. Before this, I was already doing my own nails. I was cutting my own hair. It's just, it's grown uncontrollably. I know how to maintain a haircut, but I don't know actually how to style a haircut. So I'm gonna leave that for the professional. I low key just wanna just cut it all off right now while I have the chance to just let it grow back. But I'm gonna let, leave that to the professionals. I'm gonna let them do that before I f my up. I have to do some deadlines for something that I have planned. I'm not gonna say what because I, I don't like to tell people stuff that I'm doing unless I know I have it. Just because it takes the pressure off me when they're asking. I'm gonna get it done when I get it done so I just don't say anything and then I'm gonna brainstorm picture ideas for the week because I need content for Instagram I've been posting a lot of old photo shoots that I've done that I didn't post before because they didn't necessarily make the cut for me and I think people are tired of seeing the same thing so I'm going to try to figure out some looks to do this week for well I already picked out the looks yesterday but I'm gonna figure out some ideas of where I might want to shoot them or whatever just for content purposes I should probably go put on a robe if I'm gonna be doing this vlog and then I'm gonna just edit the beginning of today of this vlog 
for the week because I know if I don't start it early, this video is going to take me like a month to edit. I hate editing. It's so hard. I'm very spiritual, so I like to be in tune with my God. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. When I'm ready to go in the bathroom to like freshen up, you know, brush my teeth and stuff like that, I usually speak in tongues over my to-do list for this day. Just because like I want to make sure that God is just guiding me in the right direction as far as everything that I have planned in my book. And also, I just want to make sure that I'm being diligent and disciplined to show that all my tasks are completed. Now, if every task doesn't get completed, don't worry. Don't condemn yourself. Message! You really don't want to do that, especially not in this time because your thoughts really can take control over the situation and really you have the power to change what's happening in your life. Um, but I'm not perfect and every day is a work in progress as far as that goes. It's like you can't change it so just let it go. Like for me, I have loved spending this time in my house. It finally hit me a couple days ago like we really are stuck in the house. We really are going through a situation where we've been in our homes for three months. See, the other day I was walking to go to the store and and I was like, wow, everyone really is, we really are all walking around in masks. Like that's so weird, but it's for our protection. So if you don't have to be outside, please don't go outside. Wear your mask, wear your gloves if you're still wearing them. Do everything you can do to just keep yourself safe. Keep the people around you that you love safe. If you are going out with people, just make sure that it's below the minimum of people that you're supposed to be around and also just make sure you're social distancing away from them. We really wanna come out better and stronger than we were before. There's no need to complain and do all the shit, just do your part. So there's not much cleaning that I have to do, but I do want to clean up my whole house. And really, I kind of just like go from room to room, depending on the day. Like I know last week I kind of was doing each room each day because I was cleaning down the walls and mopping and sweeping and throwing away stuff that I didn't need and just going through everything one by one. But today I don't have much to do. I just kind of need to sweep and mop and put clothes away, shoes away, whatever is not in its right place. I just need to put it in its right place. I said my hair is looking so crazy and this is a real vlog so you guys are gonna see what I'm going to give you. I forgot. I think this is why I actually didn't want to start my day late because I also wanted to start this bathing suit that I was supposed to be doing for something I was supposed to have in April. But during that time, I was supposed to have a shoot with, you guys know in my last vlog, I was talking about how I got picked to go into the next round of it. But because of the hurricane, I mean, because of the hurricane, why the f do I keep saying that? My arm hurts. Anyway, because of the quarantine, I didn't make it and honestly, it's been months. I was supposed to have this done in March. I brought the fabric and everything in the beginning of March. Before my leg even got infected, I had brought the fabric, which my leg got infected. It's a long story. I had surgery and it was a whole mess. Like a mess. It was just a mess. I'm scared to put my camera here because I had to cut that light on because it was so dark in here and I'm not turning on the lights because it's still light outside, but it's very like, there's no natural light coming in. Like you can kind of see from that window. And actually guys, I thought I didn't have Bible study today because I thought we were going to do Pentecostal Sunday, but we actually do have Bible study. So I do what I can do in the next hour before Bible study starts at six. Yeah, I probably should have never took that nap and just been asleep for all of today. But the rain was really just so soothing and relaxing that I just wanted to rest because it's, I don't know about you guys, but it's been so hard for me to just sit down and relax and not think about anything. And I think it's mainly because I really want to feel like I'm accomplished when I come out of the quarantine. So my mind is always thinking about something that I can be doing instead of just sitting down and not doing anything. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to put you so much on a This is, hello. Everything right? Yeah, everything is good. Um, I'm fine. It's like a good Sunday. It's raining outside, so I'm just chilling. I just want to check you real quick. All right, well, thank you for checking up on me. Of course. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. All right. <laughs> All right, bye. Good. My sister can be so sweet at times. Like, literally, she's been checking on me and making sure I've been good this whole quarantine situation. Shout out to her. Actually, both my sisters, they've been really great. 
towards me and I'm grateful, you know? I'm one of those people I really don't ask for anything. I don't need anything, but I don't ask for anything either, so. Anyway, let's start this clean up before I be doing this all night. I'm gonna start in the kitchen first because I have to sweep and then put the dishes away and then wash the two dishes that are in my zinc. Cool, I haven't even eaten breakfast for today. I haven't eaten but like two cookies and I drank tea this morning. Let's put this guys keep seeing me itch my hair. I put in deep conditioner in my hair last night, so that's been sitting in my hair. It's making my head itch, so it's when I take a shower today, I'm gonna wash it out. So yeah, I still need to bathe, but, but I'm gonna do it. You ball headed. But but me ball But you could call me ball headed. Right here. 
open it for oh. what? Because. Because what? I opened it, I didn't need it. It's what? It is. It is, it is. I don't know. Put it down. What? Put it down for you to break it. That's why I didn't know we had that, but. I don't know why I'm proving myself to a four year old. What is my mom? No. Did you say one? What is he saying? No. Who said yo no? Did you take a bath, Kinsley? Yeah, I did. I got the last Child, I don't got time for your scenarios today. You know that I bet. I'ma take one later. No, you no. She told me, she asked me why I didn't take a bath. She said she took one at 8 o'clock. Why did you get my bath? Why did you ask why I didn't take a bath? It's not good. You tell me you want more fun with Ron today. I'll take a picture later. I already showed her, Grandma. She told me I was poor. Really? You want me to take a picture later? Why do you want me to take a picture later? She told me I was poor. You want to go there and eat? In those uncertain times, what can we do? Turn to Psalms 56 3. Uh, in this verse, it says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. And to add to that, let's also turn to Isaiah 12 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. The only certain thing we can do in these times is to trust God and not be afraid because God promises that we have salvation. That's an important word to underline. Salvation. What is it and why do we want it? Here's the definition. Salvation means to preserve or deliver from harm, ruin, or loss. Or also, it means a source or means of being saved from harm, ruin, or loss. God promises here that He is the source of being saved from these things that the earth. And it's such a comforting message that we don't need to fear. We don't need to let fear into our lives when we have to Because whatever the uncertainty is, cannot harm us. As we have God as our strength. So guys, I pretty much cleaned up my whole entire house. It took me forever. It didn't take me forever, but let's just say I got really distracted. Of course, you guys saw I had Bible study. Then my shows came on. I watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The reunion came on today, and then I still had to finish cleaning up my room, and then I was watching some vlogs and stuff, so then whatever. It's literally like 1.03, and I still haven't even eaten dinner. I still need to finish the rest of editing the rest of this video for today. I gotta go do my deadlines. And I still need to wax. Let's start there. So right now I'm going to just wax my lip and my underarms. Look, I don't have that much hair. But it is growing. It's very thin. But I like to make sure I catch it before it gets like too much. I also need to wax my stomach a little bit. I gave myself a Brazilian wax either last week or a week and a half ago. So I don't even have to worry about that. I just got out of the shower. I mean, probably like, why are you waxing now? You just got out of the shower. But really you're not supposed to shower after you wax because it's like your pores are really open so it's gonna be like exfoliating it I don't know I guess you don't want the toxins to get it I'm really not sure what exactly is the actual reason why pretty much I brought a waxing kit on Amazon I say like sometime in January actually when I got this camera and honestly guys it is very painful and it saves you a lot of money you definitely could do it yourself it's super easy but it does take time and you do have to get used to ripping your own hair out and that's the reason why it takes time because like you literally have to build yourself up to the like, oh my god like I'm gonna rip this off one two three rip you know you guys are gonna see I'm gonna start off with my lip first um I totally have some hair on it. Can't see it though. Not a lot, but a little. So I'm gonna do that first. And the kit that I got from Amazon, first of all, the sticks came with it. I think I got like four bags of beads, like a waxing thing. It's heating up right now, so I'm gonna show you guys that. 
but they give you guys like a pre-waxing spray and then you get like an after waxing spray so it actually is like a really good kit it's really worth thinking. and I think I only spent like maybe $27 in total for everything maybe even like $25 if it was very cheap and guys I'm actually really tired so I hope I can do this all this right now also, you need powder. They don't give you powder. I don't know if they tell you in the directions that you need to use powder. But I was Googling it and you need powder. And I already had powder in the house. I don't use it, but it has been in my house for like years. I think it's moved with me every time I've moved. Alright, so here we go, guys. Really seen you here or there, but whatever. So actually, guys, I totally lied. I only did like partial of my underarm. Still, so much that I need to do. So I'm gonna just hold that off until tomorrow. First thing I'm gonna do after I finish working out. I already did my lip, so I just have to do half of the rest of this arm, this arm, and then my stomach. I really kind of want us to get everything done today, but listen, like I said, some things you just really can't check off your list. I'm not gonna sweat about it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, love you. So guys, pretty much my plans are ruined for today because clearly there's a river happening outside. The sun's coming out, but who knows when this water is going to stop or go down actually. It was cool when it was raining yesterday, but now this is f***ing up my plans. Hi guys. Oh my gosh, yesterday and the day before that it rained like crazy. I didn't really get to start off my week the way I would like to. But once again, we don't complain about rain because rain is really refreshing the earth and just keeping it pure and all those good things that we need the rain to do for us. I'm going to go work out. So today's tasks are to work out. I'm still looking crazy. Don't worry. One of these days you guys are going to see me actually look cute. This is me though naturally, so get into it. I still didn't finish waxing, you know, I did have yesterday to do it, but I woke up late as f again. And then it was just raining, so I just worked on editing my video the whole entire day. And then I have to take pictures while the sun is out, so I have to hurry up and do all of this stuff because if I wait any longer, I don't know what the weather's going to be like later on today, and I really want to seize the day. Work on deadlines. Oh, this camera is so heavy. Sunday and every Tuesday, we have Bible study. So I have to fit that into my schedule and so I really do need to move a little bit faster than what I'm moving right now. Let's hope that we get all these things completed. Like I said, if you don't finish something on your list from the day before, just make it sure it's a priority for the next day. Obviously, working out is at the top of my list, then waxing is at the top of my list, and then I still need to take pictures. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm using Cetaphil on my face. I used a deep treatment mask on my hair. That's what I'm washing out right now. For that, I'm using Texture ID. And then after that, I like to wash my hair with a Jamaican castor oil shampoo from Shea Moisture. And I like to do that twice. Um, as you guys can see, this is hard. And I want you guys to know that my floor was soaking wet after this. After, I like to put the Shea Moisture Daily um, Hydration Conditioner and Coconut in my hair and lather that in there. I usually keep that conditioner in there until after I'm finished bathing. Now that I'm all done, then coconut oil to moisturize.
hi guys okay guys it's wednesday actually it's no longer tuesday after i finish trying to do something with my hair because honestly the sides have grown back really a lot and it's hard to lay down with the gel and also it's not long enough for me to define the curls or nothing like that so i just have to just wear it the way it is until i get some assistance on fixing this beautiful mane i'm gonna go find some pictures or take some pictures while the sun is out and um yeah i'll just show you guys how i do that so here we go i think i'm gonna be taking pictures on my phone instead of my camera or am i taking with my camera i don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes but i will get back to you guys when i am done and talk to you soon okay so i totally try to take like a million pictures this is usually where i come i was trying to go to the park but they're closed as they're supposed to be i guess wait a minute yeah i was trying to take pictures in front of this camera first of all the sun's not out these mosquitoes or bug bees are like out like crazy and it's about to rain so this is a waste but i'm gonna go in the house and just finish taking more pictures also it was so hard they tell you that like nobody's watching you while you're taking pictures that's why there was like several people who like stopped and then came in front of me and like was taking pictures and everything like just standing there watching me so but yeah this is what's happening right now yeah annoying so guys i finally took pictures they were taken in the house but you know whatever as long as i got some butt pictures i don't give a f really but it's latest f and it took me four ever so i really hope that these pictures are good content for me to post and to be a better influencer yes also i'm doing a turmeric mask right now i've been saying that i have really bad dark spots and i was researching and i found out that turmeric masks help with dark spots and i think I, this is like my fourth one i definitely like it i should be doing it more than i am but it does dye everything and it's really messy so but i hope it works I'm going to just, I'm gonna, honestly, I just finished eating dinner. I washed that makeup off and now I'm about to eat some ice cream and just work on editing, deadlines, and stuff like that. And I got a lot of editing to do, so I'm going to do that and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. I love you. I'm just making cinnamon pancakes. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Instead of peanut butter today, I'm making cinnamon pancakes. This one's kind of clumpy though. I don't know why. I'm also going to be having sausages with it today. It's actually not even morning time. It's actually 1.50 in the afternoon. But I was wasting my time working out this morning. My workout was really just like drag for real. So hey guys, I just had to come in really quickly just because like, I feel like this part, if nothing else, is so necessary to speak about just because like there's just been so much that's been happening that like, I think you really need to make sure that you are okay, that you are together. I normally wouldn't have makeup on in the house, obviously, but I just got finished taking pictures, so I still have my makeup on from that but i think that this part of my video is more important than anything just because there's just been so much happening since this whole quarantine situation happened that it is important and imperative that i think people need to speak about the reality of things and i think that's more necessary than anything this pandemic started well the u.s death toll from coronavirus now at 14 with more than 200 confirmed infections in new york state alone cases doubled to 22 with more than 2,000 people in home isolation congress has approved an 8.3 billion dollar emergency spending bill to fund response to the covid 19 outbreak president trump is expected to sign it later today. Yeah, so uh, the numbers, as you said, in the U.S. really climbing as expected. Um, we know that the clusters maintain um, in the East Coast in New York and then on the West Coast out in California and Washington. A lot of us didn't know what to expect. I mean, if you guys check out my first video, I was not afraid, but I ne we've never experienced anything like this before. I have never experienced anything as an adult like this, but I've never experienced anything like this in my life before, period. For me, if they were telling us that we had to be out of work, we had to be out of school, you know, pe the thing, we couldn't do the normal things that we were doing. I was like, bro, like, I wasn't saying that the world was gonna end, but I was like, Jesus is coming soon. God's coming soon. And there's gonna be 
dummies and I just hope I get pulled up into the but then time settled in and I just realized that, you know, this is just a time for us to just be safe and people really are just trying to do what they can to make sure that we are safe. And in the beginning, it was kind of like, oh, the whole world, we're coming together and, and we are, and we're trying to be as one to make sure that everybody is good, which like good, I was happy about that. You know, it seemed like for a second that everybody was coming together and we were learning how to coexist with people and everybody was being understanding and then it started. People were panicking and they were in fear about everything. People started going crazy and going to stores and buying up everything. Thing. All the toilet tissue was gone groceries you, if you went to the, you didn't go to the store at a certain time of the day you can rest assured you were not gonna go in there and get that you wanted to come out with okay like you were not gonna get it and then shortly after that people started protesting to be let out of the quarantine so that they can go and get their haircut mind you we were only in the second month mid second month okay like people are crazy they were literally at the mother they were at the governor's houses the white house all these places protesting with rifles and guns and everybody started coming out with conspiracy theories and it was just like all you have to do is go home stay in your house and just think about life refresh yourself find a hobby get back to where you used to be before you had to be an adult and live the life that you are living now i'm sure a lot of people were not happy with their lives but they wanted to be let out of the house so that they can get a haircut they were not thinking about other people's lives and what that meant having to come outside to have to go to work so that you can be okay then we got a stimulus check and then our president was going along with these people, you know, agreeing with them that they want to be let out despite what the scientists are telling us. Guys, it's ridiculous. The way that the world is, it's just terrible. And that's more and more reason why I understand why God tells us to keep our mind in his word. Message. Because when you get your mind stuck on the world, you will be in this mother like really just sitting here like... That happens. Everybody was going out with this conspiracy theory. And let me be clear, this wasn't just a one group of people. This was everybody, white, black, Spanish, anybody. They're, they're saying that it, making them stay in their house is against their civil liberty. Like, what the do you mean? Why are you protesting something that's trying to help you out? It's trying to help you be safe so that you don't go out and kill yourself or kill the people that are around you. That's all you have to do. Fast forward now to there's a situation where a video comes out of a black guy running in his neighborhood and these two white guys attacking him. That guy was shot and killed. Video surfaced out of nowhere. We're all in the quarantine shocked that something like this could happen. If you guys don't know, his name was Ahmad Aubrey and these two white guys killed him because they said, they claim that somebody had robbed them or been robbing the houses and they were just following him because he fit the description of who they thought were was robbing the houses. Mind you, they're not police officers. They they went out there with guns, they followed the man, and then they tried to approach him with the gun, and then one of them shot him because, I guess, him and the, the, the son um, got into it. But it's like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck? A, a bunch of people on social media, a lot of celebrities and everything started to chime in on the situation. Now, mind you, a lot of us thought that this happened during the quarantine. But this happened in fucking February. And only now do we find out, and those guys have been living all of this time in their houses nothing happened to them nothing was said to them nothing was done none of that okay like how the f does that happen you know and it wasn't until everybody found out and everybody started sharing and everything like that that these guys got arrested which thank god but who even knows if the charges will stick we're also finding that out okay there was protests for that which that was given and that was a good thing you know protesting for a good f reason while still being safe then a few weeks later, a guy gets killed by the fucking police. Prosecutors say Officer Derek Chauvin had his knee on George Floyd's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Now guys, it is crazy right now. It is 
crazy. Everybody is saying, you know, I like that small town that I came from was predominantly a white area. And of course, they have their choice words to say about the situation. And of course, I don't agree with it. Because it's like, you know, what's happening right now, um, there was a guy, his name was George Floyd, and he was killed by a police officer. And riots started happening, looting started happening, protesting started happening, peaceful and not peaceful. But it's kind of like, when you look on social media and the things that some people are saying, it's just so awful, painful to see that these people speak so badly when asking a question. You know, you'll see some things online from people that you know that you went to high school with or something like that, and they'll say something like, I don't understand why this looting is happening. Okay guys, I'm back. <sighs> I've calmed down a little bit. I've eaten dinner. I watched a little bit of TV. Stayed off social media for a little bit. I'm lying. I've had this makeup on since earlier. It's two something in the morning. So I was telling you guys pretty much about the questions that the people were asking. They were asking how does looting help black people from getting killed from the police? These are non-black people who are asking these questions. And to be honest, black people are asking the same question. But instead of getting an answer, they answer it themselves with racist, very racist remarks. I see in one comment, a guy asked that question, and then somebody commented it with, we should just go out there and blackface and ask people why they do it. And I was just like, okay, ask a question don't give people the time to respond back to you and then follow that up with more racism you don't really want to know why the people are doing it for one and for two you pretty much just proved a point you're making people angry by saying things like that i went to predominantly white school that country place that i said i lived at that was that am i surprised at some of the things that i'm seeing no because you know i've had to deal with a lot of that for a lot of my years growing there, exactly the main reason why I could not wait to get the f out of there. I moved to a place where I knew I was gonna be around people that I could relate to. And that's not to say I didn't have good times back there because like I said, I love my home. And that's not to say that I didn't have people there that I know love me and that would stick up for me because I know there's people that will. And I appreciate them, I see them, you know? But it doesn't stop the hurtful things that you see others say. It's like, you would have thought that these people would have grown up to become better people because ultimately these same people were probably saying the most racist to the five black kids that went to those because I have so many different experiences I could talk about so many and maybe I might do a video speaking on that just so people are aware of the things that are said by children these same children grow up to be adults and still have the same mindset that they did when they were younger so nothing really changed they never really you know it's sad because I was asking my sister one day I said you know my dad always taught me especially living in Baltimore to moving to a place where I was now going to be a minority. It was definitely different, a different experience. But my dad had pretty much had a conversation with me and my sister before we started school. Some people may not like me because of the way that I look. Some people may have a feeling towards me. Some people may say things out of their mouths to me. But he better had not heard that I had been in a fight or started or hit somebody because of what they said to me. Now, defending myself is a whole other story. And if I had to defend myself, he made sure that I better be able to defend myself. Starting a fight because somebody called me a name was never in the books. Also, you become accustomed to certain things that you hear. When somebody calls you a name and you go and tell the teacher and she says, oh, well, she didn't hear him say it or no proof that he said it and he doesn't get in trouble. You kind of learn to just deal with it. You don't know how, what to do. And I can't fight this person because my father already just said that he better not hurt that I have heard that I was fighting people for calling them that word, that name. Which, now that I think about it, he was smart for telling me that because why would I sit here and fight somebody who's clearly ignorant? And so I was asking my sister the other day, like, how do we really teach our children to handle these type of situations without violence? Finding different ways to be vocal about what's happening as well as finding a way to take yourself out of what's going on around you because it is getting crazy and i understand how this all could play with somebody's mental hell i'm going through it like friday friday i literally had to take a mental day because i was so consumed with everything that was going on that i really just could not film i couldn't work out i couldn't do anything i just wanted to i just was trying to find i just was trying to find a way to get my mind back to what it needed to be focused on 
I needed to take that mental day. Message! I encourage you to do the same. You know, if it's running around the block or just sitting there in silence for a little bit, taking a nap, having a f***ing drink. Don't become an alcoholic, but having a drink every once in a while when you need to chill. Watching a movie, a positive one, a horror one, whatever gets you going and takes you out of what's the f going on. Find a way to get out, you know, going to Bible study, getting right with God, journaling, talking to family about things other than what's happening right now. Um, many things. But still make sure that you're vocal about what's happening and be firm on what you know. You want to stay healthy. You don't want to hear your fr somebody you know speaking racial slurs on you because it could be a attempt one day on your life. These kids grow up, they become doctors, they become police officers, they become lawyers, and they still think the way that they do. So how can you not, you know, you know, it's just so hard. It's really just a hard situation to deal with. It is provocative right now. Also, I forgot to show you guys a little while ago, we all got these messages, these alerts on our phone. We received this message on our phones today. There's a curfew in Miami right now. I don't know what looting does either, but you know what? I do know this time it got a lot of people talking. And so maybe that's what it does. It's getting you to open up your eyes. It's happening so much right now that they have to see us. And I don't know if I agree with the looting necessarily, but hey, it's getting the people to talk. It's getting the people to open up their eyes. It's getting the people to see something different than what they've been wanting to see. It's getting some people actually a chance to look at the bigger picture. And I think that's what's important. Hi guys! Okay, I'm back now. Um, I am better today. Better than I was yesterday and a few days ago. It's actually during the week and I really had to take those last few days off just because like everything has just been so crazy and so stressful that I really just wanted to just be silent and I didn't want to move and I just wanted to watch TV or whatever it was I needed to do to just relax me. I didn't even work out or anything like that. I just just stayed in the house and I just... There's just a lot happening right now. There's a lot going on and it was so hard to be focused on my regular routine just because like I just was trying to find a way to balance everything that's happening right now. And so I hope that if nothing else, if this video is showing you that you're not the only one, okay? Everybody is going through something right now, and especially black people. Um, there's just so much, you know, with the pandemic and then, you know, people being killed, Black Lives Matter, and just realizing those people that are in your life and just how divided truly we really are. You know, I, I see people say all the time that racism is causing a divide, but in truth, it's not. It's causing a divide, of course, but really, white people like to make it seem like we made it up. And I think that's what's causing the divide. That That's the divide. You know, making it seem like it doesn't exist doesn't make it go away. Running away from things, do not make them go away. You have to come and deal with them at one point as uncomfortable as it may make you. And it's truthfully that racist people just love being that way because there's security there. There's a safety net there. There's something there that's making them feel like, okay, well, I'm okay. Like I got this, this is my bubble and this bubble is keeping me and my family safe. It's not really keeping you safe, it's keeping you sheltered. And whatever I'm saying is going on in my bubble is what's going on and I want my kids to believe that and that's just sick and sad. Because you're not the only one in this world. And there are a lot of things happening and a lot of people are suffering because of your ignorance. And so I just hope that this video just helps somebody just to see that there maybe there's something you saw that you could be doing. You know, whether it's working out, whether it's cooking something that you love, whether it's doing your makeup or taking pictures, anything to take your mind off what is happening right now because it's truly, if you sat here and focused on everything that's happening right now, you would be in a place. Okay, so today I wanted to come in and like I said, I've been talking about this sewing thing all week, but like finally let's get it all out the way. I wanted to come in here and be a little bit, look somewhat decent, you know, because I've been coming on this video looking like straight up trash and so. I just put on a turban because my hair is going through that awkward phase of growing back. And I just put some lashes on and did my eyebrows because I didn't want you guys to see me look like a crackhead all through my video. 
You saw it? Now you get what it's like and now we're here. We're here. So today I wanted to make a video on making a bathing suit and maybe it can be helpful for somebody. Um, you could do this two ways. You could do it if you have a sewing machine or if... And not only that, um, maybe it might inspire you. Maybe, maybe you might want to pick up a craft while you're in quarantine or while you're trying to do things to keep your mind off of what's going on. You might want to go pick up a sewing machine and make something for yourself. Try something up. Do something different and creative and new. So for this video, you're going to need a fabric. So I have this pink fabric that I brought from the fabric store. You're gonna need thread. You're gonna need a needle. You're also gonna need a sewing machine. So this is my sewing machine. And I've had this sewing machine since high school. I need to make sure my bobbin, I'll show you guys what a bobbin is. So this is a bobbin, and they come in all different types of colors, but most of the time they're this size. And it has black thread in it because I used it for something else before, and I'm gonna use this thread. Also you need scissors. the thread and so guys what you need to do is there's a little pedal thing on the sewing machine that I'm gonna have on the floor but you have to step on this pedal in order for the sewing machine to work so I'm going to thread my bobbin with this pink thread and so I just wrapped it around this thing and then put it in the middle of the bobbin. And so since I already had thread in there, it's not going to be a lot on here, but that's enough, really, just so we can start and see what we're going to do. It seems like it could be easy. So I'm hoping that it's easy, so let's just see. And if not, once again, this is something we're trying out to get our minds off of what's going on right now. Like, we still need to do our part as black people to share, post, protest, do whatever the f we can do to do this. Giving back to black businesses, supporting each other. This is gonna be a new era for us. Just fix the thread on the sewing machine. Literally, all you have to do is you put this thread something through the machine it's gonna go through this piece right here and then you're learning how to do this for your own sewing machine put it through here whoops through here up through here through that little hook Put by through here. I usually cut it because I don't have time to be sitting here. Try to find the hole. You just put it through the thread, the needle and thread. And just make sure everything is not tangled because let me tell you, these needles are so easy to break. machine all ready together like I said guys I decided not to do a bikini I decided to make a mask instead so I found a mask pattern on the internet to see I am sewing the side the long sides together after that I cut about 12 inches worth of fabric good morning dr. Kinsley Yes, I'm about to hang up. Good morning, Miss. Why do you call me and not say good morning? That's rude. I'm about to hang up, Mr. I'm hanging up. I'm sewing. All right, good night. Bye. Good 
Good morning, Miss Kinsley. What do you want from me? know I layered the mask piece so I made two of those layers and then now what you guys see is me sewing the ear piece on in the two pieces together I left a little piece open that way we can turn it inside out and it looks a lot more cleaner and no crooked edges or anything like that um, and then after that I'm gonna sew the little piece that's still open together and then after that my face mask is complete i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching i hope that it motivated you to do better to be better to go out there and do what you need to do remember to stay safe and as always guys i love you have a good one she boosts my pride every time it seems to go oh my god what a prize let us behold she the queen of all queens that's how it seems Every time she in the room, she don't blink. She got to keep a go focus. One thing you don't notice. You my flavor, flavor. Now come and pour it on me, baby. I enjoy happiness. I enjoy happiness. And I enjoy love. And I enjoy love. Just give me your flavor. Beautiful heartbeat. Beautiful heartbeat. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, beautiful heartbeat.